You might have recently experienced that you are more tired than before. You may feel your body is letting you down and you cannot concentrate. You look pale and weak and basically, you are not the same person anymore. You might have even seen a doctor for this and he told you that you have anemia. Sometimes they make it simple for you and they say, you have low blood count. It seems such a weak term, low blood count. Hey internet, this is common med. Medicine explained for common men. Blood is a magical thing. It works as a delivery system within your body. Blood is made of many components. There are three different types of cells within our blood. Red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Platelet's job is to fix any bleeding anywhere in our body, make sure it clots appropriately and there is no excessive bleeding. The white cells are like white knights in shiny armor. They are there to protect you against infections and fight them as necessary. Anyway, let's go back to anemia. Anemia is mainly concerned with red blood cells. The main component of the red blood cell is hemoglobin. Its main job is to deliver oxygen to different organs so they can function and keep us alive. If you are anemic, it means your body organs are going to receive less oxygen and nutrition, so they won't perform as well as they should. You might ask how red blood cells are built. Production of red blood cells is controlled by erythropoietin or EPO, a hormone produced primarily by the kidneys. Red blood cells start as immature cells in the bone marrow and after approximately 7 days of maturation are released into the bloodstream. The average lifespan for red blood cell is around 120 days. When blood flows through the spleen, our spleen will perform a quality check and destroys any old malfunctioned red blood cells from our bloodstream. The lack of red blood cells or anemia are either due to lack of building materials such as iron, vitamin B12, vitamin B6 or due to the fact that sometimes you can actually lose blood faster than you can make them like when a lady having a heavy menses or bleeding hemorrhoids or maybe an ulcer or a cancer somewhere in your intestine that's slowly bleeding sometimes it could even be a genetic problem it means your body does not have the correct and proper blueprint for producing red blood cells what can you do to cure it? Well, like any other problem, to solve this issue, you need to know what's the underlying reason. Typically, your doctor orders a bunch of tests after he diagnoses you with anemia to make sure you have enough building materials to build beautiful blood cells. He probably refers you for an endoscopy evaluation of your intestine as it's quite common to have low red blood cells due to the lack of absorption of a building material via your guts or if there is any ulcer or cancer that's slowly oozing or bleeding. Depending on what's the underlying reason, they will advise you on further treatment. Treating anemia is extremely important. As you can imagine, if your heart does not have enough supply of red blood cells to circulate the oxygen around the body, it means that it has to work harder and pump faster. But how long your heart can sustain this hardship, no one knows. At some point, you might just get tired and give up, and this will lead to a heart attack. Hopefully, now you know more about anemia and the importance in recognizing the cause and treating it. You can also boost your blood production with certain foods like red meat, beans, broccoli, bread, and pasta. Do see your doctor if you suspect you might have anemia. Common Med, powered by Arimation Studios, medicine explained for Common Med.